Blood color sweaters. Oh, yeah. 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 We took they took Perry and took him at the thing he was best at. You were around during those days. Actually, what he did was. Okay, here we are at uh, the exhibition, finally, after uh, uh, what you saw before, the process of uh, making these drawings. And uh, this is the result of that, uh, of that process, that procedure uh, that you saw before. What was also interesting was that after they were, uh, all, all the pieces were pinned uh, on the wall, uh, I mean, they sort of become one piece and, and part, of, part, of the, part of the environment and if you come during daylight, during the day, you can kind of see more light reflected off the white of the pieces. It kind of changes the room around it. So it's also changing the environment, changing the place. So the curved wall was something that I was actually really excited about because um, usually in a space like a gallery, uh, the walls are just, uh, uh, they're just straight. So, um, this curvy, uh, curvular aspect or cur curve aspect of it gives the work sort of a three-dimensional effect to it. And as you walk to and uh, from end to end, uh, you're kind of discovering, you're kind of discovering the rest of the drawings and bringing them to light. And uh, so that's why I was really excited about these, about these walls. And uh, there's actually two. This one's more uh, has a, bit, a more curved angle than the other one. And that was really exciting uh, to work on uh, a space like this. Well, uh, I feel this is a very uh, strong show. Um, just the uh, magnitude of it, um, I feel it's a very unique approach to uh, the, the materials. And I feel that uh, he's captured pretty much what he wants to as far as a violent uh, instant gratification kind of work that, that does uh, seemed to indicate that it took a lot of work and effort to do it, but, it, but he did it in a matter of, of seconds, even less than a second, to create this image. And I just feel that um, it, it's a very bold, very bold statement to make. And uh, I, I like the scale, and I like the fact uh, the, the rawness with just, just the charcoal. So uh, I, I congratulate uh, Jesus on this great, uh, great show, and I, I feel it's a very uh, very strong show, and I feel that uh, it's it's a really good benchmark for him in his career. You know, I, when I first saw the work, um, I was captured by fleeting moments, and one of the things, as I looked even closer, I started picking up that perhaps, in my interpretation. Um, there were some kind of um, traces of light beams. I am seeing things in the, in the work, and that's, I think that's what's probably what m most interesting to me. And especially after speaking with Jesus, you know, about he was trying to kind of suggest a process, and I think he's really done that really well. And so I find it very intriguing because I, I look around and I keep seeing, the more I look at it, and, and that's one of the great things about a good piece of art is, you know, you look at it and it might capture your attention, but then it draws you in there and you want to study it more. What else do you see? And then it starts to speak to you. And I think that's really interesting. He's just a great inspiration for process and uh, discovery, adventure. He's very experimental with his work. He seems to always be working on something new and uh, exciting. And so we're really happy to have his work here in, in the gallery. Um, what's interesting about this work is it's incredibly spontaneous. It's uh, very uh, experimental and adventurous, uh, dynamic visuals. It's not as much about the messaging as it is about the process and the materials, the immediacy of the act. Um, and I think it's a very wonderful teaching tool for our students to be able to see that there's other ways of mark making that are experimental and uh, very much by chance. It's almost, sometimes it's a design by accident. Of course, there's always the artist's hand and direction, 
but there's a lot of um, extraneous type of marks that you don't have any control over that are very wonderful discoveries.